Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna look at how to add a contact form to your Wix website. So I'm on a sample portfolio page, and what I can do, since this page has a contact page, so if you already have a contact page and you wanna add a contact form to it, I'm gonna navigate to that page with the page drop down down to contact. So you see here, we have a little bit of information entered, but how about a form that people can actually reach you at, that can input data and send it to your email? We're gonna go over to the plus button in the tool panel, the add button. And if we scroll down here, we'll find contact. Now the contact section has a ton of different uh, pre-themed contact forms uh, and different, different ways that people can get a hold of you. Let's just select one of the very basic ones here at the top. I'm gonna click and drag it to place it onto my site. Once I have it there, we can do a couple things. For instance, we can manage the fields we can manage what input information there is. Now email is one that is required, no matter what. Email is always mandatory, so you cannot even delete this section. You can rename it, but be careful. Make sure that people know that they have to input their email into this field. The next input field we have on this default form is name, and then we have subject and message. Name is another one that you can rename, you can make it optional, it doesn't have to be required. Um, you can also delete that piece. So anything except for email, you can do any of these three things by clicking on the little ellipses out to the right of it. You can also click and drag to move these around. For instance, it might make sense to have name first up, then email, then maybe a subject line and the message. Now you can add a new field with this button here at the bottom and they have a few preset fields and then also a custom field. And the custom one, if you just simply rename it, that's what shows up. So for instance, if I type in phone number, even though they already have this, I'm just gonna put that in as an example, uh, we can hit done and now it looks like I need to input potentially my phone number into this spot. So that's it for managing fields. That's how to add, delete, rename them. We're gonna exit out of that. Next up would be settings. Now the settings is where we adjust what email address this contact information gets sent to. We can also add a second email address as well. And then our button there at the bottom says send, but it could say anything like, for instance, we could make it say submit. That's where you might change that piece of information. And then as people actually submit their messages, we can decide what happens when they submit that form. Does it show a message or does it open a link? For instance, you could take them to a thank you page. If it just shows a message, what is that message? Well, thanks, message sent, or maybe uh, submission confirmed, something like that. You can add anything you want there. If they forget any required info, there's gonna be a little piece that pops up. If you've ever used a contact form, you know when you, when you forget that required piece, those red letters pop up and they say, please add required info. Likely it will highlight the section as well, letting them know which is required. It already does put a little asterisk by each. And lastly, we can actually name the contact form if we want to. We could just name it contact form or something along those lines. Now let's get into the design and layout of our form. First up, we, if we have our form clicked, we can move it up and down the page by using this little button right here and adjusting that. We can also adjust the width of it by clicking on the side and dragging that out. And then we can move it around until it locks into place so we know it's right in the center of our page. We can also click on the layouts tab which is gonna let us align the text either left or to the right. And to actually adjust the text and the buttons, we can go to the design tab. This is where most of our design attributes are gonna be. We can select a pre-themed contact form, any of these different ones, whichever one gets you closest to what you want it to look like. I'm gonna start with this one here. And then we can customize that design by clicking the blue customize design button. So we have a lot of different layouts. So if I cycle to the left, we're gonna start at the top here. There's a lot of different styles to this theme that we could use. You know, we got a little bit of a shadow behind the buttons. We have the names out to the left. We have lots of different formats that we can utilize here. I kind of like this one. I'm going to stick with that one there. Now we can adjust 
from top to bottom here, the fill color and opacity. So right now the field background is white. We can't really see that. Let's change that to something like a very light teal. Is that a teal, a turquoise? And then we could adjust the opacity of that to pull that back a little bit so there's just a little bit of a color behind that. We can adjust what our button color is. So maybe I want that to be more of that uh, darker teal color. And then we can adjust, of course, the, the transparency there. But since this layout is on top of that box, I don't actually want to adjust that. I want to keep that as a solid color. Then we can move on to the border. So right now there is a border. We could make no border or we could make a, border, a lot of a border, right? Very wide, but I'd rather keep it smaller. We can adjust the color and the opacity of it. I'll bring that down just a touch. And we can also adjust the button border width as well. Finally, we have shadow. So we can enable or disable the shadow just by one click right there. We can adjust the angle, the distance, the size, and the blur. So if we did have a shadow, we could put it in there and we could adjust the color of that shadow as well. And finally, we have the text. Now the text might be the one thing you really do want to adjust. We can start with the font down here so we can get the font set to be what we want. I'm gonna select Museo here, kind of like that font. And then we can adjust two things here. We can adjust the label color. So this is what they see. So for instance, we could select something, maybe it's more of that turquoise color. And then we can also select what the user input color is. So maybe that's a little bit different. Maybe we keep that as a black color. So when they click into this and input their name, it's gonna show up in black. So they know they're actually inputting data into that form. Now we have the theme set as custom for now. If we were to select a theme, it would change it to be the theme. We're currently customizing that theme. We can also adjust the font size depending on how large or small we want that. Notice how it's adjusting the entire size of our contact form a little bit as well. We can select simple things such as bold and italic and also our success message color and our error message color. Remember that red color we were talking about before. Now a couple of quick hit things here. The email that you inputted where messages are going to be sent is not visible to your site visitors. So they, they cannot see the email uh, when they actually send it, when it gets sent through and you reply to contact form emails, the sender is no reply at your site.com. So it's not actually going to be through your email. You'll also receive notifications of new messages through your site's dashboard. And last, we hit on this earlier, but the email field in the contact form is always a required field, but it's also possible to change the name of the field it's just not possible to remove it or mark it as optional. So if you decide to change the name, make sure you signify that a valid email address should be entered because if a valid email is not entered, you're going to get an error message. It's, it's definitely best to leave it just maybe as email to prevent any confusion. That's it for this one. We've added a contact form to this website. There's lots of different themes and options for you to customize. So you can create a contact form that looks however you want it, however it fits best with your site. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. I'll see you next time.